Uh, pal, welcome uh, back to the show. There's so much to talk about. One is, you just got your doctorate, an honorary doctorate. So, yeah, congratulations. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow. You see oh, that? Yeah, yeah, wow. You're so different. <laughs> I've never used that one before. Yeah, you have a new doctor face. Yeah, well, interesting. Wow. <laughs> Here's you at <laughs> Rutgers University. Hey, wow. hey, hey. Looking great. That's kind of dope. Hometown. You, uh, you gave the commencement speech as well. I did. I gave the commencement speech. Is that tough because it's your home? Uh, I mean, you're from uh, New Jersey. It is. I mean, you grow up around this school all your life and uh, have some dreams of going there, and life takes you wherever it takes you. And then next thing you know, they want you to do a commencement. They want to honor you, give you an honorary doctorate. And um, what did you say? That it was like two I had done this year. I done one with Stray University as well. So it was like, okay, it's, it's time for me to get my doc on. <laughs> um, <laughs> you get your doc you on. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. So, um, but what, what advice did you give to the kids? I, I'll tell you the one thing is I love school. I love knowledge. I love learning. Yeah. I'm, like, I went to BMCC in lower Manhattan, and um, I never got to finish, but I've always studied. I've always tried to learn. Like, I have so many books in my house, it's just ridiculous. So yeah. I just, I'm, I'm always curious about learning. So I, love school I support too. anybody, especially whether you're just graduating high school or whether you're 40 years old or 60 years old or 80 years old and you want to go back, go back to school. Yeah, why not? Get it. Right? Why yeah, not? Do it. You too could be a doctor. Doctor, you too could be a doctor. Or either make a lot of rap records, some good movies, and be cool yeah. and philanthropize, and you two can be a doctor. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm sorry about the uh, loss of uh, your, your mom. My mama. And yeah, I'm so yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's just yeah. a tough thing. It was so it, rough, it's man. Rough. But I, I, you know, I got to thank you, uh, Jimmy. You know, I, Jimmy, you know I love you like cooked food. <laughs> <laughs> And I literally have to love Jimmy like cook food now because uh, the night that it all happened, we were home and then all of a sudden we get this delivery to the door and it's like, it's, it's like pans of food, you know? And we're like, I don't know what this, this has never happened to me. I don't know what goes on, but it's these huge pans of food and there's drink and then all this stuff starts coming and, it, and it's a gift from, from uh, Jimmy. And he sent us some food, some shepherd's pies. And, yeah. You know, and I love you. You know, you don't sucks. know. It's just like you don't know you need you, it. You don't know you need it. It's like you got all this food, and then you realize, oh, okay, people start coming, and they're there, and they want to be there for you, and they're gonna grub down, <laughs> and so you're gonna need some food. So, yeah, they, you know, yeah. so you fed a lot of people, and I really appreciate you. Well, for I that. thought about you because I, I watched your speech. I know you've been through it. And you understand. It's tough. It's yeah, a tough. It's thing. rough. Uh, but you talked about your mom in this speech about when you the first time you performed, and it made me uh, think about my mom too, but. When you were yeah. playing, you were in Wizard of Oz? <laughs> yeah. what? what, like in grammar school? Yeah, you were playing, you were were, playing Dorothy? There was like three of us, too. <laughs> three, three Dorothys? This is what happens when you go to Catholic school. You know, <laughs> everything's got to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's three Dorothys. Yeah, exactly. Why not? Yeah, so, yeah, so, yeah there was like three Dorothys, and um, there was one who did the, the first act, and then a, another Dorothy, th Dorothy for the second act, and then there was me. You know, the one who did not quite look so Dorothy-ish, but she could sing the hell out of home. And so, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I was the one who got to sing home. Wow. Yeah, and, and that, from that moment on, I kind of knew that, like, this was something I wanted to do. But you, did you just get up there and you were like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm Dana, or I'm just going to go up and I, I'm not Dorothy. And Let me tell you something. All I know is I would be terrified to go on stage, and, and it still happens to me to this day. And I've done thousands of shows, and it, it, you know, it doesn't matter what I do, whether it's a speech or anything. You know, I, I just look out when that first like 30 seconds of, of performing, I just lock into one person's face. Any person who has like that look, like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Or like they're open, they're like smiling. Everybody else could be sitting like this, yeah. but if I see one person and they're like into it. I stay with them. I focus on them, and then I just basically sing to that person until I start to relax, and then I can start working the whole room. You know I've, what I mean? I've seen you do. I mean, I've known you forever. Yeah. I've seen you just at, 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 at a restaurant. They beg you to get on stage, and, and you're like, I don't want to be okay. And then you get up and you crush it. You know, you know what, what I mean, dude? You crush it. And I was like, to Oh my kill. gosh, that's what I'm talking. About. That's right. <laughs> now to shot, kill. Shot, 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 <laughs> shot, shot, shot. But you also, uh, you also uh, love giving back and, and, and helping yeah. people out. And the Queen Collective. 
Oh, man, this Queen Collective thing is so cool I that we're working it. on. T tell me what so it is. So I was at this woman's count, this woman's empowerment sort of uh, a thing a couple years ago, and huge people from, from the industry were there. Uh, Mark Pritchard, who's in charge of P&G, the top advertisers in the world. Uh, one of the heads uh, from AT&T, uh, obviously top advertisers in the world, yeah. and spend a lot of money. And they were looking at the, the, you know, the disparity between male and female directors and how many opportunities are given to women when it comes to advertising and, and who's, who's creating this, the, the advertisements that we see. And I say out of uh, you know, everything you saw, every commercial you saw last year, less than 10% were created by women. Yet we buy... Wow. Over 50% of... And the commercials are actually even for it. Exactly. Yeah. So we're like, we got to do something about that. And it's been the same problem with movies. So we decided to come up with this idea where we would find two female directors. We would take their scripts. We would select them from this group. Tribeca uh, you know, curated it for us. And we've chosen two people. We will make their films. We will support them. We will get them to market. We'll market, promote them, and we'll get them in theaters, top to bottom, and at least add two more people to that list of people who An can direct. opportunity they would never have. Yeah. That is, so that's all you can do. Well, Isn't that feel good? Yeah, that's gonna gotta great. feel great. Uh, for more information and to find out the progress of that, you can go on uh, Twitter, uh, your I am Queen Latifah, is that right? Yes. And Instagram is just at Queen Latifah. At Queen Latifah on Instagram. <laughs> And I Minus am Queen the Latifah, yeah. Grizam part. Yeah, know. of course. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, on and on and on. Uh, I said. And it's on and on and on.